Uh, statement of the meeting law. Uh, Board of Education, Winoka School District 93, Bush County, we hereby certify the priority of December 15th, the last calendar year, the date, time, and place of this regular meeting, filed in the office of, office of the, the clerk of Woods County, Oklahoma, that any changes to make the date, time, and place, regular scheduled meeting, proper notice, and life was given to the county clerk. Also certified that this 24 hours prior to the meeting, including Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. At the same time, place of the gym, it was posted prominent of the people. Thank you. Roll call. Here. Sapson. Taylor. Here. Lenny. Here. Crowd here. I'm here. <coughs> uh, over to the new board member. I, John Hanson, hereby declare under oath that I will faithfully perform the duties of a member of the Board of Education of Independent School District number I-3 of Woods County, Oklahoma the best of my ability and that I will faithfully discharge all duties pertaining to the said office and obey the Constitution and laws of the United States of Oklahoma. Number five, reorganization of the Board of Education. I move, I make a motion, I make a nomination of Clint Olson as president, Garrett Gum as vice president, and Caleb as clerk. Travis motion on the second. Yes. 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 Plan of meeting yours. Move on to item six. Consent agenda. All the following items will be approved by one vote. I'll say the board will be approved by one vote. I'll say the board will be approved by one vote. Many of these items, this includes items 6A through 6A. Vote to approve the consent agenda. Second by Caleb. Second by John. Yeah. Yes. 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 Item number seven, principal reports. Um, in March, the word of the month was perseverance, and the classes and the teachers gave a lot of challenges on how to show um, perseverance and some things that they could do uh, to keep on moving on and going on. They gave a lot of examples as well. Um, 78 elementary students made for a club in March. Uh, Parent-teacher conferences, elementary had 97%, and those were March 8th, March 8th and 10th. Um, and it's always awesome to see the phenomenal roles parents have in their students' education, or their child's education. Third nine weeks AR trip went smoothly. We went to a wood skating rink. Um, we had a lot of involved uh, parents and, and teachers that went as well. And we had quite a few um, great skaters as well. And then the final trip, um, AR trip is to Oklahoma City to the zoo. Points are going to be due May 4th, and that trip is going to be May 9th. Uh, junior high softball, baseball, and elementary track have had very busy schedules in fifth and sixth grade. Even though fifth grade is, is new to the all of the student athlete sports, especially during the week with the track, um, they learn to juggle their schedules and, and try to get all their work done. A couple of uh, really struggled, but we've got them back on top of things. So today we travel to Laverne for a track meet. Um, state testing starts April 18th with third grade. Fifth grade starts April 20th, and then third through sixth will all begin uh, on the 24th. And the teachers and the students have really worked hard on learning all the concepts uh, involved with the state tests as well. Uh, last day of after school program is April 20th as well. 4-H is this week with April 12th through 30. Elementary music and band spring concerts are April 24th, beginning at, at 6 o'clock with the band concert. Mrs. Hill and Mrs. Hope have had our students uh, ready, and it will be a great production. Then field trips, they are going to start soon, too. Third and fourth grade, they're going to have Ag Safety Day in Alva on April 27th. Pre-K and kindergarten are traveling to Leonardo's on May 2nd. Um, Fun Fall Days is May 4th. Uh, let's see, field day is going to be planned for the afternoon of May 10th. We're going to do it on uh, that afternoon, and then May 11th is going to be our last day. We'll have our uh, awards assembly that morning, and parents are welcome to take their kids afterwards. And then Mrs. Rankin has a lot of fun things for the summer enrichment camp uh, this summer. Her uh, The theme that we all came up with, or she did as well, um, she led us, I guess, is full steam away with the steam camp uh, being the, the theme. So anyway, that's all I have. <coughs> Uh, the FFA Lifestyle Judging Team and Speech Givers have been on the road a lot. Uh, they have judged the four or five contests 
which uh, Tay and Redgate uh, placed tenth at NEO. Uh, the speech team has been the four jackpots, placing many teams in the top three. Uh, the regional speech contest is tomorrow at Ringwood, and hopefully students qualify there to area next Tuesday in Enid. Uh, the FCCLA had 12 students that traveled to state convention last week, with Andre Delano was named the state champion, and Oklahoma State star event entrepreneurship level one. I would like to congratulate her and Ms. Pitts for their hard work. Spring sports are in a big push for the next couple of weeks. Baseball and softball teams have been playing a lot of games and play uh, districts next week. The softball team will travel to Arnett and the baseball team will travel to Hammond along with Beaver <coughs> in that district. Uh, the track team has also had uh, success the last couple of weeks. Uh, they have a couple more until they go to regionals March or April, sorry, 29th. I'd like to give uh, Ms. Smith and the junior class a big shout out for their hard work on the prom. The decorations along with all the students look great and a good time was had by all parties and attendance. Uh, Ms. Klein and all the teachers will be working hard the next couple weeks with state testing. i like to say good luck to all our students and work hard and the student staff working hard and like thank you for your support and dedication. All right, looking at our finances, uh, going through our expenditures, as you can see, our expenditures are down um, on the year, two hundred and forty-nine thousand. Now, keep in mind that's mainly due to last year we had the lighting project that's kind of held up to this. So, um, as far as our collections, as you can see, we're up four hundred thirty-seven thousand on the collections this this year to date. Uh, Ninety-three thousand in gross production increase. At the lower was up two hundred thirty-two thousand. Of course, we had sixty thousand that went to our daycare and the grant. So that's kind of helped create that cushion. Um, we've already collected more this year than we did last year in Avalorum, but that's mainly due to when people pay, but also um, we had less in protests this year, so, so that does help. Uh, this April is kind of a bigger month for us, so after we get our collections there, I'll kind of feel more comfortable about where we're going to end up on the year. But so far, we are trending in the upwards direction. Building fund, we have no expenditures to date, and our revenue is up 30000 Again, that's due to that more Looking at our child nutrition, um, so our child nutrition, you know, our expenditures are, are down slightly, but we did not get our Keystone bill this month, as you can see, so it will be going back up. We'll have two payments in April. Uh, they just sent it to us. Late, forgot to send this, whatever you're going to say. Anyway, so we'll get them paid this month, but again, that'll bring that back down to earth. We're not going to end up with that good of a cushion in there. Looking at our daycare, as you can see, uh, our expenditures are up on, on the year, and our revenue is up. Um, we actually, right now, we're sitting 20000 to the good, and that was due to that grant, so we appreciate that. Hard work getting that grant done. Um, kind of the we're right on our bond process. We've had the surveyor out and um, we've had the civil engineer out, so we're waiting for them to do their plan to get those to the architects so we can start our grading plans and we'll figure out our next new players. So that's all I got. Okay. Item number eight vote to approve or not to approve the school calendar for the 2023 2024 school year. Make a motion to approve the 2023-24 uh, school calendar. Second by Caleb. Second by <coughs> Travis. John, you vote? Yes. 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 Item number nine: vote to approve or not to approve the Woods County Hazard Mitigation Plan. Move to approve. Second. Motion by John. Second by Caleb. Any vote, Travis? Yes. 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 Ten. Vote to approve or not to approve, to amend or adopt board policies. 10A, 10B. Make a motion to approve the board policy. Second. Motion by Travis, second by John. Have you got a Yes. Yes. Travis. Yes. Yes. <coughs> 11. Discussion and possible action to approve or not to approve senior students the flexibility to take three credited hours of internship. For the 2022-2023 school year, it is approved by the high school principal and the student is still able to meet all graduation requirements. 
Make a motion to approve. Second. John, second. Okay, let's hang up, Travis. Stein. Yes. 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 Vote to number 12, vote to approve or not to approve 2022-2023 fundraiser request, basketball, softball, and esports. Make a motion to approve the uh, fundraiser requests. Motion by okay. Kevin. Second. Second by John. Opposed? Uh, Travis? Yes. 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 13, discussion and possible vote to declare the Tech Ed building surplus to authorize the superintendent. Take all necessary action to have the building removed, including obtaining quotes from parties willing to purchase the building and remove it intact. Make a motion to approve. Second. Charles. Second by John. Any vote? Okay. Yes. 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 Let 14. Discussion and possible action to declare items listed on attachment A to surplus property. Make a motion to declare item. attachment A is surplus property. Motion by Caleb. Second. Second by John. Any vote, Travis? Yes. 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 15. Discussion and possible action to approve the sale of real property to the Oklahoma Department of Transportation to authorize one of the public school superintendent Scott Klein sign on necessary documents related to the sale. Motion to approve. Motion by John. Second. Second by Travis. Any vote, Caleb? Yes. 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 16. Proposed executive session to discuss the following personnel decisions in compliance with 25 OS section 307 And the whole idea of executive session unless you guys want it. Good. Moving on to item number 20. Vote to rehire or not to rehire certified career classroom teachers listed on attachment B for 2023-2023 school year. Make a motion to approve attachment B. Second. Second by John. A vote, Kevin? Yes. 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 Vote to hire, vote to rehire or not rehire certified temporary classroom teachers listed on attachment C. For 2023-2024 school year. Make a motion to rehire. Second. Motion by John. Second by Caleb. How do you vote, Travis? Yes. 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 22. Vote to approve or not to approve the employment of a certified teacher under a temporary contract for the 2023-2024 school year. I uh, am bringing John Barnes' argument, hiring John Barnes on a temporary contract for next school year. Make a motion to approve. Say one more. Have a motion to approve. Mr. Barnes. Trying to second by Caleb. Yes. 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 <coughs> Any new business? I don't know. Turn it to Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Caleb. Yes. 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 yes.